the Jewish exodus from Arab and Muslim countries or Jewish exodus from Arab countries was the departure, flight, evacuation and migration of 850,000 Jews, primarily of Sephardi and Mizrahi background, from Arab and Muslim countries, mainly from 1948 to the early 1970s. A number of small-scale Jewish exoduses began in many Middle Eastern countries early in the 20th century, with the only substantial aliyah coming from Yemen and Syria. Prior to the creation of Israel in 1948, approximately 800,000 Jews were living in lands that now make up the Arab world. Of these, just under two-thirds lived in the French and Italian-controlled North Africa, 15 to 20 percent in the Kingdom of Iraq approximately 10% in the Kingdom of Egypt and approximately 7% in the Kingdom of Yemen. A further 200,000 lived in Pahlavi Iran and the Republic of Turkey. The first large-scale exoduses took place in the late 1940s and early 1950s, primarily from Iraq, Yemen and Libya. In these cases over 90% of the Jewish population left despite the necessity of leaving their property behind. 260,000 Jews from Arab countries immigrated to Israel between 1948 and 1951, accounting for 56% of the total immigration to the newly founded state. Following the establishment of the State of Israel, a plan to accommodate 600,000 immigrants over four years, doubling the existing Jewish population, was submitted by the Israeli government to the Knesset. The plan, however, encountered mixed reactions. There were those within the Jewish agency and government who opposed promoting a large-scale emigration movement among Jews whose lives were not in danger. Later waves peaked at different times in different regions over the subsequent decades. The peak of the exodus from Egypt occurred in 1956 following the Suez Crisis. The exodus from the other North African Arab countries peaked in the 1960s. Lebanon was the only Arab country to see a temporary increase in its Jewish population during this period, due to an influx of Jews from other Arab countries, although by the mid-1970s the Jewish community of Lebanon had also dwindled. 600,000 Jews from Arab and Muslim countries had reached Israel by 1972. In total, of the 900,000 Jews who left Arab and other Muslim countries, 600,000 settled in the new state of Israel, and 300,000 immigrated to France and the United States. The descendants of the Jewish immigrants from the region, today known as Mizrahi Jews, currently constitute more than half of the total population of Israel, partially as a result of their higher fertility rate. In 2009, only 26,000 Jews remained in Arab countries in Iran and 26,000 in Turkey. The reasons for the exodus included push factors, such as persecution, anti-Semitism, political instability, poverty and expulsion, together with pull factors such as the desire to fulfill Zionist yearnings or find a better economic status and a secure home in Europe or the Americas. The history of the Exodus has been politicized, given its proposed relevance to the historical narrative of the Arab-Israeli conflict. When presenting the history, those who view the Jewish Exodus as analogous to the 1948 Palestinian Exodus generally emphasize the push factors and consider those who left as refugees, while those who do not emphasize the pull factors and consider them willing immigrants. Background At the time of the Muslim conquest of the 7th century, ancient Jewish communities had existed in many parts of the Middle East and North Africa since antiquity. Jews under Islamic rule were given the status of dhimmi, along with certain other pre-Islamic religious groups. As such, these groups were accorded certain rights as people of the book. During waves of persecution in medieval Europe, many Jews found refuge in Muslim lands. For instance, Jews expelled from the Iberian Peninsula were invited to settle in various parts of the Ottoman Empire, where they would often form a prosperous model minority of merchants acting as intermediaries for their Muslim rulers.